Hey y'all, good morning. Welcome into the channel. I hope everyone is having an amazing day. Um, let's go ahead and get into it. Basically, this is going to be the summer solstice reading. Um, and let's, let's see what this summer solstice is bringing us, okay? What's in store, all right? Okay, so source says time is reversing. There's the energy of um, reflection energy, okay? We have patience and we have foggy bog, okay? Angel number 18, so it breaks down to a nine, all right? We're leaving out of this cycle, all right? And the summer solstice, is, oh, we're leaving out of the cycles of storm spirit chaos, okay? So you're leaving that behind. That's what's being healed. That's what's being... Um, released and moved out of the way okay for this summer solstice so time's reversing there's reflection energy here we have uh, loved and served here many lifetimes and ages ago okay the changes you are now experiencing with family wolf, wolf spirit and that's the an angel number 51, which is a six. So this justice that's now coming in that you're receiving on account of you being who you are, um, you being an ancient being, you being someone who has reincarnated over different lifetimes, okay? Um, you are going to be experiencing a lot of changes. We have sanctuary. So you're going to be feeling safe. You're going to be feeling secure. You're going to be feeling more grounded, more stable, okay? More able-bodied is what I'm hearing, okay? Um, more pleasurable, okay? So your ancestors, they're ready for you to accelerate, Okay, they're ready for you to go to the highest point and shine upon a rock. That's how they gave it to me. Go to the highest point and shine upon a rock. Eagle spirit with freedom. Okay, so you know the eagles are the only ones that fly at the highest altitude uh, or at the altitude where most other birds cannot. Okay, so for one, you're going from this pelican here and you're going to this eagle energy. Pelicans are more grounded. Eagles are more free, more flying. There's also the energy of that Pegasus at the bottom of the deck, bottom of the car. Okay, the white horse. All right. Um, so basically, source says, go to this rock. Get up there. Okay, so you've been climbing these mountains. You've been um, enduring these obstacles. Source is like, we've all put it all on you because source isn't going to put more on you than you can bear. So we put all of this on you because there's a need for you to go to the highest mountain and then reflect what you have seen, what you've experienced. There's an energy of you needing to reflect. Um, you're going to be reflecting because you're turning into like this star, okay? That's why Source says go to the highest mountain and shine there, okay? So Source is putting you up, lifting you up, exalting you because they want you to elevate. So in your elevation, you will find this freedom, freedom from chaos, okay? Um, you will find this security within the wolf spirit, the family, all right? So this could be like your soul tribe members, okay? And then you're finding this healing energy, this patience, this uh, ancestral healing energy with Archangel Michael with this patience here. So you have some archangels stepping in on your behalf, okay? They are probably parts of your soul tribe family, and they are helping you elevate to this freedom. It says, when you go to this point, you will see yourself light up and shine like a star. Leadership, stag spirit, owl spirit, wisdom. And then we have spirit guardian of spring activation. We have air spirit, knowledge, okay? So it's like they're trying to pour into you or they've already poured into you. And now they're like, look, it's time for you to be on display. It's time for you to sit at the top and then speak or lead um, by example, show uh, demonstrate okay um, reflect it's like reflect back what you know what you've learned what you've seen so that others can go through the process of decoding okay the information that you have been provided or the information that you are providing okay because there's some knowledge here and this wisdom and leadership they want you to feel free enough to take what you know the wisdom and lead okay with that knowledge with this air spirit so it has something to do with your communication your ability to speak okay or your ability to communicate all right or communicate what it is that you have learned 
So when you go to this highest point, because this is also, it's almost giving me the energy of you needing to go into meditation to achieve the climbing of the mountain or to at least be present on the mountain in order for you to shine or some form of activation codes, light codes I'm hearing, to shower down upon you, okay? So basically, um, you're going to end up shining like a star, okay? So we have manifesting dreams, water spirit. We know we're in cancer season now. So it's like, this is what this cancer energy is bringing us at this time. Wise woman of the grove with grace. So when you go to the top of this rock and you begin to shine like a star, so I feel like when you get your put yourself out there, you start to lead, okay, then you're going to become activated with more knowledge and more grace so that you can lead successfully. You've tapped into a wellspring. There's an overflowing of blessings, manifestations, abundance, okay, that is there. Um, this knowledge, this wisdom, it's all there. Your soul tribe members are the ones that are going to be providing this information to you. This can come in the form of your angel spirit guides. This can come in the form of others that are close to you, friends, family members. This could just all be on astral and all be in the spiritual realm. So this would be your angelic guides, your archangels, your ancestors okay that sit in line wait to protect you so basically source told me that um anything after that will be an individual experience or a personalized experience okay that's why i said i think you would need to achieve this in some form of a meditation okay and then you're going to from that point of you going to the top of the rock you are going to be able to have your own individual time and experience with source okay so you'll begin to see your own images so for me they went into a position when i did this to where they decided to undress me okay so they could undress you from your armor your queen of swords energy and they're beginning to drape you in swarovski crystals diamonds um now you sit in faith peace and hope so it's funny because grace is here as well. And look, then we have love. And I feel like that's it. This is what Source wanted you to know. Go to the top of this mountain. Shine like a star. Be generous. Maple spirit with your energy. Okay, with this love, with this knowledge, and with this wisdom. Go out and lead. Be unafraid. Take the shackles off. Take the training wheels off. Get out there. Okay, you have security. We saw that with sanctuary. So you have backup. You're not out there alone. Okay, so be unafraid at this time with flexibility to move forward freely, going with the flow, the flow of water, especially since we're in cancer season and cancer is a water sign. There's a need for you to continue to just go with the flow. All right, so that's what the summer solstice has. That's what I have. Those are my notes. I hope you've enjoyed it. Okay, it's hashtag reflection. All right, hashtag reflection election i hope you've enjoyed this energy this reading if you did be sure to like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye my loves